Hello Nuggets. Out walking the dogs. On my daily... Most daily. Uh, try and do two or three miles now a day. Sometimes a little less. Depends on how hot it is. It's fucking hot today. Uh, what are you doing? Um, I was having a think today about thick skin. Sort of sorted out here. So, come on, boys. Uh, and about how, when you're in a creative process, how you need a thick skin, right? So, you need to be able to take notes. You need to be able to hear feedback and adjust to it. And you, frankly, you need to be able to hear no, right? Just un, a categorical no, without reason. Just no, don't like it. And I have a problem with that. I don't have a thick skin. I take it very personally. It's probably something that comes from the little kid inside me, little Adam, <laughs> the little me, the rejuvenile in me. Wait, come on. Ooh, lovely. Um, yeah, I'm not good at taking notes. I'm not good at hearing someone doesn't like my stuff. And so, I hear, when you hear um, motivational speakers and stuff like that, they always talk about how you got to blast through that stuff, you got to hear it and move on, you've got to learn how to deal with no's, but none of them actually tell you how to do that. You know, that's like a weight loss coach saying, you really got to lose weight. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> how? Can you help me? So when it comes to having a thick skin and taking notes, I'd really like some advice on how I do that. On how I don't take it personally. On how it doesn't make me wanna just stop what I'm doing and give up. Because that's my natural reaction. You know, and I do keep trying to face it. It's not like I give up. I mean, I sent the play out to a ton of places who don't know me. So those, I'm gonna get direct. No, don't like it. Your work sucks. Let's go this way. Come boys. So I'm going to get a ton of no's from that. So I know I'm going to have to deal with it. But it still hurts. And every time I get that no, there's a little part of me that says, Ah, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Maybe this is a sign that, you know, I should give up. This isn't worth it. Hey, get off the road. What are you doing? Come on. It's Iggy. He's a nutter. So that's another thing on the list that I need to get better at. Learning how to take notes. I'd love to know how people do it. I don't know if it's a tool that you can work on or if it's just a thing that you have. Maybe, maybe it comes from learning to do things you're not good at. Like just growing your overall confidence. And the end result of growing your overall confidence is that you start to believe in yourself enough that it doesn't matter if you get notes. So, like, you know, if I lose weight, I'll start thinking, it doesn't matter if someone says I'm fat. I'll believe I can lose weight. I actually don't care if someone says I'm fat, but <laughs> for some reason that doesn't upset me. I'm like, yeah, I am, you're right. <laughs> um, so maybe it's just an overall confidence boost that you need. The problem is I've had a lot of yeses in my life and they haven't helped me deal with the nose like I've been very lucky in my life that when I go for a job I usually get it um, I'm really good in interviews in person I can make people laugh which by the way is the number one thing <laughs> if you can make people laugh they think you can do anything even if you're an absolute fucking tard and I am at a lot of things but I can make people laugh and I give a good interview so people give me jobs <laughs> so you can get away with a lot with that but I hear a lot of yeses and I don't hear many no's. And the odd occasion where I have got a note, like I went for a job at um, Insomniac Games and I took their design test and they said, no, you're not good enough. And, uh, well, they didn't say no, they just said no. But um, I was like, what, what, what do you mean? No, I'm not good enough. Um, yeah, it really hurt me. Well, it didn't hurt me that much, but it, it, it had an effect on me. I was like, oh my God. 
They don't think I'm good enough. Maybe I'm not good enough. <sighs> so that's a thing to work on. Learning to take no's. I think I might need to talk to my friend Colette about this. Because she's fucking excellent at this. She can hear a no. And just fucking walk through it. She can walk through the fire and come out of the other side even stronger than she was before she walked in. My wife does the same thing. She can hear no's, I mean, in her career, she has to hear no's. And she just walks right through it. She's like, oh, you think no? Well, let me show you why it's a yes. Okay, I'll talk to them. If I find the answer, I'll get back to you. Right, you little nuggets. Bye.